Hello guys, welcome once again. In this video, I will show you how you can download, install and run sample program from Log4CPP. So what is Log4CPP? Log4CPP is a C++ library from which you can prepare logging files and sometimes it's uh, really good and essential for your application to have log for cpp so let's get started and first step you need to do is go to log for cpp dot dot net there you can find information about log for cpp and what are the cap capabilities and how you can download and install log for cpp so first step is to download the libra library so go to downloads and click download page and you will be directed to the source forge repository and you can download the latest zip file for log for cpp so click download and download in your system there is uh, something i want to say that i will install and compile this log for cpp on my ubuntu 12.10 operating system so all the step will be specific to ubuntu linux and you can take a tip from these instruction and implement on your own operating system also different operating system so what you need to do is to download this tar file and extract it to the folder of your choice so i have extracted this log for C cpp in my home folder of my linux operating system okay now we once again go to the log for cpp website of log for cpp sourcewatch.net and here it says the step steps to configure and make and make install for the ubuntu sorry for the c log for c++ library so i have followed these steps and from my experience what i have faced and what experience i have with log c for cpp i have written this documentation in my blog my blog name is uh, www.programmingknowledgeblog.blogspot.day or what com and here when you go to the labels just click log for cpp this one and it will open these this procedure what procedure you need to follow in order to install and run your first sample program from log for cpp so let's get started from the first step which is going to the directory of log for cpp and we will open our terminal and here we will go to the directory which is cd log for cpp because it's in my home directory and then type second step is to configure these this library so i will write dot 
स्लैश स्लैश डॉट कॉन्फ़िगर एंड प्रेस एंटर एंड इट विल स्टार्ट कॉन्फ़िगरिंग दिस फाइल इनटू योर सिस्टम while it's configuring let's see what next we need to do so i will come to my blog entry after the configuring you need to make this file and then make check and make install okay so the configuration is done and now the third step is to make the program so once again in the terminal type make and press enter and it will start making your program so Uh, now your make is also done so next step is to perform make check so i will write sudo make check and press enter and it will ask for my password and press enter and it will start checking for your make so our make check is also performed successfully if our make check is performed successfully you can see this all 10 test past the next step is to install so write sudo make install and press enter and you install block for cpp file into your system and this is complete also so our first stage of configuring and making log for cpp file is complete now what we will do is we will make a sample program which is given on the log for cpp website and then we will compile and run that program so what i will do first is i will go into my home folder and i will make a document blank document and i will name it as log for cpp dot dot cpp file and enter so this will create a cpp file for me and then i will open this file and it must be blank and what i will do is i will go to log for cpp website yeah and at the bottom we have given a sample example for 
log for CPP. So we will try to compile and run this example. I will just copy this sample example. and copy and paste into my blank log for cpp file which i have made recently okay and then i will save it my file is saved now and then once again I will go to my terminal and I will perform CD because my log for CPP file is my in my home folder so I will perform the other step from here I will clear the screen and I will go to my blog entry here on www.programmingknowledgeblog.blogspot.day and here I have written the compilation method and yeah okay so to compile this log for cpp file or sample example you need to copy this command from there from my blog or i will just show you what to write to compile this log for cpp and paste it here so to compile this program you need to write g plus plus Mm. space minus g s t a b s plus minus w space minus i headers space your log for cpp file name space dash o your log for cpp executable file names which you want to produce and then space l log for cpp space dash l p t h read okay and then i will press enter to compile this cpp file and yes it's compiled successfully but first of all i will show you this is the executable file my program has generated by compiling this command g++ command which you can copy it from my blog and now we will execute our executable file which is generated and when you execute this executable file it will show an error which shows that your error while loading share shared library lib log for cpp dot so dot five cannot open shared object file no such file or directory this error will come this error you can eliminate by this line which is 
simply you need to set one environment variable and then it will compile without any problem so you need to write export ld dash library dash path this dash is underscore keep in mind is equal to slash usr slash local slash library so this is the environment variable you need to set in order to run this executable file so i will paste it here and just press enter and my environment variable is set and then once again i will execute my executable file enter and yes it gives me the desired result one more thing i want to share with you is this export ld library dash path is equal to user slash local lib is a temporary setting of environment variable if you want to set permanent environment variable you need to edit your bash rc file which also i have shown you in my blog so for that what you need to do is to execute this gedit slash dot bash rc command and it will open your bash rc file and at the bottom of your bash rc file you need to write export ld library path is equal to user local lib and where uh, after that you save that bash rc file and execute this command source tilde slash dot bash rc so it will set your environment variable permanently so once again when you open a new terminal and you want to execute this log for cpp exe it will not show this error again okay so i hope you have learned something new this time about log for cpp and i hope you will rate comment and subscribe and keep watching these videos thanks for now